Hello friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new, you're very welcome. My name is Anissa Fon and today I'll be showing you how to make your own sh this uh, basic short pant for lady. As you can see, it's the same thing just that the way this elastic is made. As you can see it's hidden and why here is a zigzag stitch which is inside. So, so uh, for you to be able to make this, you'll be needing this measurement. That's your waist, your hips, your thigh, and the crush we don't have. I'll show you how to get your crush. So what you're going to do, you're going to divide your waist by 4, which is 68 divided by 4, 17. Divide your hips by 4, 88 divided by 4 is 22. Divide your thigh by 2, which is uh, 27, the crush we don't have. So first thing you're going to do, we're going to draw a straight line like so because we're going to be working from the front this other side of the back the other side okay and making sure you're leaving space this other way connect our line like so so here we don't have the crush length which is actually missing here what we're going to do you're going to take this waist measurement to, that's to get your crush measurement that's 17 that's my waist measurement and i will be adding one centimeter to it that will be my measurement from my waist to my hips or you could either sit down like so on a hard chair and you take so i have 18 here now i will be marking my hips measurement that's 22 in this top part right here Twenty-two. 22 here and we also come here we we'll mark 22 to get our basic block okay 22. I'm going to be connecting this line just like so. And from here, we're going to connect it. A straight line. Like so. so, we have our basic block right here. That's for the front part. You can see what I have right now. And we want to get our tie line. So, we can, we can, we can centralize this, our tie line. It's 27 in between this basic block. So what we're going to do, we're going to measure from here to here 27, right? Remember I said we're going to be working the front this way and the back the other way. So I'm going to measure my 27 from here. This is 27 right here. 27. 27 and I'm connecting this line straight to that 27 that I marked right here. Now one thing we're going to do right now is we don't have the length where I want it to be, I'm simply going to be adding, uh, adding four centimeter, and with the 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 hemming allowance, three centimeter. That's four for the length, hemming allowance, three centimeter. So I'm connecting this line like so. One thing we're going to do right here is seeing this line for the. Here, the, the tie line was 27 and we're going to minus one centimeter right here which is actually going to give us 26 we're going to connect it like so and here was 27 right 27 we're going to connect uh, do the same thing the same measurement that we have here 27 the, we're going to connect this line to the 27 that we have 27 is here and we're going to connect our line this line straight that's the four centimeter the length and come here like so we'll connect this line like so we have the downer part almost done so this line is useless so what we're going to do right now, we're going to measure the mid part, the middle part, that's the center of this. This was 18, it's going to give us 9 and a half. And here, what we're going to do, we're simply going to come out by 1 centimeter. We're going to be connecting this line, bringing it like so. Like so, that's what we have. So, now that we have this, so now that we have this, what we're going to do, because our body is not actually the same, we're going to slant down one centimeter and you go in one centimeter. 
the one centimeter that we slant that we're going to donate it like so. Connecting it straight like so. And this is the dot of the one centimeter that we took in. We're just going to connect this line straight to the one centimeter. Yes, we have the front part done. And we're going to work on the back. One thing, one thing we're going to do, we're just going to leave a distance of three centimeters, a social distance <laughs> of three centimeters here. We're going to be connecting this line straight just to give a gap. Okay. All right. From this gap, we'll start working on the back. So one thing we're going to do right now is from here we're going to measure our 22 which was for the the hip measurement 22 here too i'm going to be connecting this line to the 22 that we have all right here remember what we did to get our uh our crush length was we divided our waist measurement into four and we added one centimeter all right and give us 18. I'm coming here and I'm going to do the same thing 18. That's to make the line straight. Connecting it like so, we get our basic lock. All right, so I'm going to check if this is 22. I'm going to connect the hips measurement, which is actually one centimeter lesser. I'm going to connect this to the it's 22 and we're going to make our basic lock which was so now that we have our basic lock we're simply going to add uh, the measurement that's the how long you wanted your trouser to be remember we added three uh, four centimeter and for the hem three centimeter do the same thing here four centimeter and the hem three centimeter going to Connect this line like so. Like so. So the line is so what we did here was 27 to get our this our tie line. We're simply going to be adding 27. We will be adding 3 centimeters because of our boom of behind. That's the distance between the crush because they're not always the same. So we'll be adding three centimeters to it will give us that. Or let's just, just go ahead and there are three centimeters we have. Also, this three centimeter will be okay because we do not add the allowance for the front. So what we're going to do here, since we have 30, we're going to come here minus one from that will give us 29. Going to draw this line straight, connect it like so. It's almost the same now. Let me see. Yeah, connect it like so. And here we're going to do 30. 30. We connect our line straight to the tattoo that we have. All right, we're going to take it like so. As you can see, what I have, right. We're going to measure the center of this, which was actually nine. The same thing. I'm going to come out by one and a half. Here, go to the back. I'm trying to connect this line straight. Oh. So my hand is not that straight. Here. All right. Remember, uh, we did slam down one centimeter for the front, but for the back, what we are going to do, we are going to go up by three centimeter because of our boom. Connecting this line, like so. From here, I'm going to bring it. Like so. Voila. And we're going to go in by just one and a half here, one and a half. 
connect it from this middle point right here because one of you have to check the other point in to use something like so I don't know how this thing is making it so anyway this we just now from here and we're going to do one and a half actually here is nothing so we have this so you can see what we have right now that's let me try to connect this thing so as you can see it is three this is for the back this is for the front as you can see what that got here exactly as you can see this is what we have for the front the back and the front okay so you'll be going to be cutting it and remember it's having elastic we're going to be putting elastic at this top part now, because we added some extra three centimeter for this bag, you won't be needing any sewing allowance at all. But what you're going to do, you're going to just add three centimeter. If your elastic is, let's say, for example, if your elastic is uh, uh, two centimeter wide, you'll be adding the distance here. If you want to make the elastic like so. Like so, let me show you. If you want to make the elastic like so, if your elastic is one, one and, one, let's say, one and a half centimeter wide, you'll be adding three centimeter here that's because you'll be folding it inside if your elastic is four you'll be adding uh two for example you'll be adding four centimeter one or if you want to make it like so this is the most easy way you just need to add uh, one centimeter at the top part here for the hem because you'll be leaving around this half centimeter in so that's all i hope that you guys love this tutorial do not forget to give me a thumbs up like comment share with your friends and also subscribe see you on my next project bye